hello and welcome to the tutorial for 3d segmentation for newbies on the toloka app and today i am going to create this tutorial because many of you guys asked for it because the task is a bit uh, you know not uh, very easy at the first glance and it's a bit uh, hard to understand okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start uh, marking up the scene so you guys can understand and i'm going to explain every tool that i use throughout the process so first let's understand what is the job okay as you can see here in this image let me just uh, make this a bit bigger so you can easily see as you can see that uh, in this image uh, we have many cars and people walking around the streets many uh, signs like this construction sign and uh, etc so what we have to do and we can see that uh, they are marked they are annotated that like uh, they have bounding boxes around them in 2d okay what we have to do in this task is we have to uh, do the same thing but in 3d okay like uh, uh, this car we have right here if i select it i can see that uh, this car right here there is a ray of light going from the source this is the source right here and these are the different cameras like here we can see left forward right backward 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 left these are the different cameras and uh, from here we can see that uh, the points radiate out okay so if i select this car right here we can see that rays light rays go from here from the source to the points in 3d space these like the back of the car as you can see uh, when i hover over these points you can see that uh, the same points are being hovered on the photo at the bottom okay so we have to just mark this car and all the different cars and objects in the 3d scene okay hope i uh, made it a bit clear as you can see uh, here are different cars and it matches the cars from the down below so if i select this one or if i select this one let me just change the camera right here real quick and if i select this one as you can see so these are the different cars okay and if i select this one which is the front vehicle you can see if i select this one this is these points are highlighted and what we have to do is make bounding boxes around them okay the cars have to be marked the cars are to be marked the person or the people walking in the scene have are to be marked like uh, for example here here you can see this p this person walking so he has uh, we have to mark him and you can see the same here okay we have to mark him okay and after marking up the scene let me just show you the correct answer for once you can see here how the scene has to be marked so as you can see we are here at the point and you can see that the different cars the all the different vehicles are marked in different colors also the road or the plane which is walkable or which can be traversed uh, is uh, colored yellow or orange and all the obstacles in the scene are to be marked by purple color okay so everything like the buildings or like this fence right here has to be marked purple uh, the people are uh, marked uh, light blue the cars are different colored okay also you will see blue color dots like let me just zoom right here you will see blue colors uh, blue color uh, points here so these are dust particles or different noise which uh, is in the scene so we have to mark it as like that okay so here you can see what is the color for what so planes have orange color obstacles and lawns like uh, grass a uh, grassy areas have uh, purple color the particles are noise is blue color also all uh, let me just go into you my answer so you can see here is the different list of objects which have which are to be marked okay so 
as you can see that traffic lights are also given here but we don't have to mark traffic lights and uh, because they do not move okay so only the cars move and the people move and uh, the bicycles etc like this person is riding here on a bicycle so we have to mark that okay so uh, let me just go back to the correct answer again and i will try to keep this as, as short as possible okay so here you can see that uh, the complete uh, set of points here are not marked like even in the correct answer you can see that only uh, the points up to here are marked so how do we do that and how do we identify that till which point we have to mark so this is the button like right here which uh, which has the hotkeys alt plus r if you press those if you press this then you will see that the points which are not to be marked the points which are not to be marked are uh, they just disappear okay so you don't have to worry about them and uh, every point after in the correct answer every point uh, if i press if i disable the points outside the road polygon they are not to be marked and thus they disappear so this is the first thing you should do when entering a task and just uh, you know uh, disable it so you don't have to worry about it okay also also uh, as you can see there are particles below the plane like uh, this is the plane and uh, as you can see that there are blue particles below the plane also so they have to be marked uh, like so like noise it's okay like let me just go bit forward and you can see that uh, they are below the plane and they have to be marked as noise so we have to do this okay so this is the basically the job now how let me just tell you a bit about the ui so because that is a bit intimidating at first so i will close here and i will just go back to where we started and i will click on your answer okay so to look around you just press the left mouse button and you can just look around okay uh, standing from a point you can just look around okay like uh, this is the center and we can just move around using the left mouse button now if i press shift i will be able to move in 3d space if i press shift and then drag my mouse i can move in the 3d space like so uh, you can try it yourself okay and uh, then okay and then we will just start marking and i will uh, tell all the tell all about the tools that we use throughout the process okay so first of all the uh, there are some tips and tricks that we should use first of all all the cars and the, all the person should be marked so we will start marking them so here you go first of all just click this is the this is the process i follow okay so and i recommend that you do the same because this is the most easiest way first click on correct answer then <clears throat> then click right here okay you will see that the that the box is selected and it is highlighted okay like this car here is selected and it is highlighted now just click on your answer click on this car and now we have to create a 3d box around it as you can see all the cars are bounded in 3d boxes so we have to do the same in our answer also so i will go back to my answer i will click this plus button to create a 3d box around the objects like so and then i will click on any of the one any one of the objects from the 3d scene okay so i am going to click here and this creates a 3d box around the object <coughs> as you can see that uh, it is not perfectly aligned so we can so this is the 3d box tool okay and see this is you can use this to edit your 3d box so you can uh, use this to move the object in 3d space like this is the x axis this is the y axis and this is the z axis uh, i don't really uh, think that the z axis this is the z axis based upon how you see it and uh, so we have to mark it like this as we can see in the correct answer it is marked the car the car's direction is in this way and the box in that so we will use so i will use this to move the box and then i will use this flip box 3d to just flip the box you can use this or you can just uh, rotate the box like so i'm going to use flip 3d because that's the fastest one and then i give i can also rotate like some of the cards they are a bit rotated they are not that straight so just uh, press you can either press here 
and this the gizmo the center gizmo will change uh, from the three axis to a rotation and you can see that you can rotate it in the x axis or the y axis okay so as this car was straight so we will not rotate it and that is why i am pressing z here right here z is undo button okay so we again have this box which is straight and we will just flip it now the fastest way to move or align the car with the 3d box is to use these three windows right here these are your three views and you can use that to just uh, uh, move around the box like so and this is the fastest way you can zoom in and out by pressing not pressing anything but just scrolling just come in a window and scroll and you can zoom in and zoom out so we will the objects are to be snugly fit inside the box so we will just do like this and here I will do like so make sure these are the road road points these are the roads and they have to be marked orange okay so make sure they are not selected but uh, be as close as possible and now we can see now we can check our answer okay during the training you can check our answer so this is the correct answer this is the difference and when you click on the difference button it will show you that whether the box you have created is okay or not okay so this says okay and uh, let me just show you if it wasn't okay then what would have happened so just let me just make this wrong and as you can see that there is a cross cross and the place of okay button okay so okay emoji so let me just put uh, it back like so I can also press Z on the keyboard to make uh, to undo the thing I did and uh, just click on difference and as you can see now it's okay okay now to the uh, the the we have made the bonding box okay but we have made the bonding box but uh, the points are not yet colored as you can see in the correct answer the points are green colored and in our answer it is still white so what we will use is the bath tub tool this is the bath tub tool and we will just click on this to fill in all the points inside the box let me just, uh, I'm sorry uh, there's a bit of noise where I live so there's a train outside that is why you can hear the horn but yeah let me just go back and do that again so this right here the V button or the bathtub tool just puts uh, all the points inside the box in one color okay so this now this car is marked completely and as you can see the difference tab shows that this car is clearly correctly marked so every point in here is green okay now we'll just uh, go on to the other cars and i will try to do this a bit fast okay so just see and try to just learn okay so i will first of all i will go into your answer i'm so sorry for all the noise yeah so this is the first car i'm going to select as you can see it is selected the back part of the car at least and here the plus red button red plus button shows that it is ready to create a 3d box so i'll just create a 3d box here and then i'll select the other one and click here then i will zoom in using control and scroll i can zoom in and zoom out so i will click here and then click here then i will uh, press e I can alt I can alternate between W and E using W and E button like this is the cursor and we use to move it around and if any other tool is selected we cannot move around okay so if you have to move the camera just press E or press uh, select this tool right here and then we can move okay like let me just show you if I have this tool selected and I try to move this it still moves but uh, if I had if I have this tool then it will not move okay the camera will not move so when i have to move the camera i just press e i go right here and then i i will just uh, zoom in right here and then i'll click on this the points are select the points are highlighted and then click here it will be red and then i will select here and create a bonding box here then the same for the last car as you can see these are not perfectly aligned so we'll just now we will now align it using the three windows right here and just uh, like so mm. yeah 
if we can just sometimes the box are very small for the car so we'll just do this and uh, I think that is it's correct now so yeah it's correct and we can move on to the next car after pressing this button right here okay now I'll click on this car and this will be up updated and now I'll do the same for this car I will just check the difference it is also marked ok and now I will press this same for this this is all you have to do in the task it's uh, very easy you just have to at least in the training it at least in the training part it shows you the correct answer and you have to compare it uh, with your answer and just you know mark the whole scene as you can see the car is a bit a bit rotated so i will have to just rotate by using this i can just uh, press uh, shift on the keyboard to alternate between these two okay press shift on the keyboard so i press i will press shift and then i will just make it a bit like so and you can see that uh, it is now perfectly rotated but uh, the size is a bit different or the placement is a bit different so I'll just do this and uh, yeah it is not a slug flip so we will just do this and we can check our differences and it is correct okay so we'll just do this okay same for the other cards also but I guess I guess you get the idea now what you have to do for the cards at least okay so just like so let's check our differences as you can see it is very different so we will just have to do this and it's still very different sometimes it is going to take a lot of effort to just you know make it equal to the correct answer but it's worth it because you will get around four dollars for this and 29 dollars during the complete training and it's very easy after the only the first task is a bit hectic on the second task is very easy and all the tasks that follow are very easy and they will completely train you for the uh, task okay so you will be good so okay so i'll press here and then i'll press here so as you can see all the cards are correctly marked okay now but you can see here let me just zoom in using the scroll i'm zooming in using the scroll button as you can see here if i go into your answer if i go into the correct answer you will see that this is orange that means that this is a road and in my answer due to the box uh having these points also it is colored in a different way and that is why it shows up different in a different color on the difference tab there should be only green when you when you are submitting the answer there should be only green not any other po colors and you can see if there are any other colors in the machine by using these by using these errors and we can see just we can use this to go to there where we it is and we can just zoom in and uh, I can see that there is an error here okay so I will try to correct it now as we can see that correct answer is a road so what I can do is first I will have to click on this car so that the yellow color is selected and then I will go to the paint tool this is the main tool that you are going to use this W so what I can do is just uh, use the rubber here to just rub the color of these points or what you can do is when this is selected you can just press shift when you press shift you alternate between the painter and the rubber so i can press shift and then just you know rub or the third and the easiest way to do this and then we will have to like uh, color this okay so this is and you can see that we will not be able to color these points because they are already colored so if you want 
to color the points that are already colored that like we can just uh, color these ones because they are not colored but we cannot color these because they are already colored in the car in the car's color okay so if you need to overlap the color that you already have done by mistake so you can do, use this tool okay so this is the force painting mode and uh, this you when you click on this it will say that you have to press control during painting so if i press control during painting it will auto automatically just overlap the color okay so like so it is now okay and we can see it in the different step that it is now okay as you can see these uh, show up as yellow because i think they are wrong so i will just see the correct answer okay so they are have to be they have to be marked as noise because they are under the scene okay so i will use i will go here click on this click uh, click w press w so i can go into the painter mode then i will click or control and then i will just paint it out okay so this is the process okay so i can see that every car every car is marked here and now we'll go on to the other side like uh, if I go into the correct answer, I can see that there are cars here 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see here also, this may be a doubt of some people that here are cars, but it is out of the road polygon. Okay, so as you can see in the left, if I go to the left as it is in the left view, I can we can see that there are parked cars here. Okay, so there are more than like five cars and they are annotated. So any object that is annotated by a square around it has to be marked in the 3d scene okay so if i just uh, enable the points outside the road polygon we can see that the cars have different points let me just uh, move the camera around as you can see that these cars have different points and they have to be marked okay so if you see any boxes that are uh, marked or it also shows up in the list it also shows up in the list let me just go back to here and then show you the list all the things that have to be marked are in this list okay the traffic light is also in this list but you don't have to worry about that and you can just click on this object is already labeled in 3d okay so already labeled in 3d everything is already labeled in 3d okay uh so that is uh how you mark the cards cards and let me just quickly show you an example of how to mark a person okay so same process for this also just click on the bonding box in the bottom right in the bottom corner then click on plus so it is red then click here then just make sure the make sure the correct answer bonding box is uh, same as yours okay so if I do this I will have to just you know like so like so and like so hmm. Hmm. I think it should be good to go. It's not because the height is different. So I'll just do this. It is still not okay because I guess it needs to go a bit down. And we can see that uh, our height is same, but some other size like the length and the breadth are not same so we'll just quickly change that we'll go a bit back okay so now it is correctly marked and we have to just click uh, this so it, the this is marked okay now this is how you mark that is how you will mark all the people like here are four people okay one two three four there is a fifth person here and as many boxes uh, are here so you have to mark all of them in 3d you can just compare you don't have to just uh, you don't have to put your own mind to it you just uh, see these and then you will try to copy like if i have to mark this one i will just select this in my answer i will select this uh, small bonding box here the points will be highlighted then i will click here and then i will just use shift to rotate it rotate it around like so and make it a small 
so and the same same like this and then I will just compare it so as you can see that uh, it is it will take effort it will take a bit of an effort to just you know make the your answer same as the correct answer and you have to be hundred percent identical to the same answer okay you, to the correct answer you will have to be hundred percent exactly the same you have to mark it exactly the same okay so here I can see that it is a bit strange from the top and most of the time just check for the height differences most of the time it is that only so if I see the height differences mm, it's still a bit larger than I would like it mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry guys, uh, the video is getting a bit long, but I just need that you guys see how you will have to mark it. Okay. So now it is okay. And then I will just press V, V or just press the path tab button. Okay. So as you can see, the points are marked and you will see that these are green. Okay. So you are good to go. Same for every, every one of the objects. As you can see, there are many people around here like one two three four five six seven and a car is very far there eight nine ten eleven so there are around eleven people here and uh, a person riding a bicycle here so just make sure that all the boxes are present in your answer also okay now I'll show you how to mark the obstacles and the road okay so as after marking everything else you that is the only thing that is after marking all the cars and the person in the scene the only thing that has to be marked is the road polygon and the obstacle okay so we will just go into correct answer again and then i will go here and then i will see that the points are to be marked these points are to be marked orange and these points are to, to be marked purple okay so i will do that now so i will go first of all uh, there there may be some people who have a smaller screen and it is not really possible to see that all the points so you can change the sizes of the points from here click on this configuration tool then go to a uh, point cloud sizes and from here you can change the points default point says okay so you can change this and uh, you can change this also this is very important um, because sometimes there are errors that you cannot find because it is a single error and a single point so you use this one this one just increases the size of the thing that is selected okay so like if i select this one and go here and as you can see only the card that is selected the points increase in size okay so if i make this and this so it will be a lot easier to see so that is why you will use this a lot selected one for now i will just put it here put it here put this here at five and uh, put this here or at around uh, three no three is a bit large um, three is a bit large for my taste uh, 1.72 is okay so now let's start marking uh, so if you want to close this window as as we don't need it right now so we can just press this here right here you must alternate between this and this only don't use this it is not needed just use this to turn off the window and use this to see the window okay now uh, i will just turn it off for now and then i will click on the correct answer and see okay the points are marked let me just change it a bit I can increase the painted size now. You can see, yeah. So the four points here have to be uh, painted orange. So what I will do is I will click here to start painting the plane, and I will press tab blue. So this object is uh, this tool is selected, and then I will start painting. Okay, so these four here go into the correct answer. Paint these out you can increase the brush size from here by just hovering over this and clicking on plus or minus and so plus increases the size so just let me just quickly do this 
and if there are any uh, any errors that uh, then please just ignore that i'm doing this as fast as possible okay so mm -hmm. now we go back to the correct answer and we can see and we can compare our answer with the one okay so this is also okay now all the points all the points of the plane are colored now we, i will try to uh, paint the obstacles okay now so this building is an optic obstacle so i same process i come here i click on this i press w the press is selected and then i will just paint this okay painting paint it out paint it out as you can see these points are not being painted no matter how hard I try, so that means they are outside the root polygon and I can disable them using this button right here. So there is no... Uh, um, there is no doubt, okay. So I'll just paint it out. And you can see that I'm doing it correctly because every point is green. Okay. Like, but here it is orange. So we'll just use the correct answer. We'll see the correct answer. Okay, so it has to be a road so i will click here click here press control so i can overlap it and press click so it is done now it is correct okay so do the same as you can see here it is purple purple means that it is wrong it is an error remember everything has to be green correct i will go into the correct answer and i will see that there are four blue blue points or particle or that is uh, the noise points okay so i will do that quickly mark that so i will go here press w i will decrease the uh, brush size a bit and then select these right here and i think that we are golden okay so we are now one good thing about this process if you mark all the all the cards first so now you can just paint the road without any without any tension okay so i will just paint everything like so there is no tension that i'm going to paint over the car because they are already marked and i i don't press control they are easily marked okay so if i don't press control they are they will not be overlapped so i will do is do this now same for these points below you will just paint them blue also now one more very important tool that you are going to use is the uh, height view like uh, right now it is set from minus infinity to, to plus infinity and it shows all the points from these heights okay so, but if you want to uh, just hide the points of the road so we can just uh, decrease the uh, keep start decreasing the size from here and go up and go up as you can see the points are starting to just uh, be hidden so only the points that are in uh, that are in that have some height are now visible and if i keep increasing it keep increasing it you will see that the buildings are now hiding and everything now is now hidden okay everything is now hidden the same can be done in the reverse also by using this okay so you will use this basically to mark noise like let me just show you as you can see the ma the noise particles they just dangle in space so we can just uh, use this to remove all the road below and we can just mark these points easily now there is no tension of uh, painting anything else because the road is not there to be marked so we'll just do this uh, some particles are a bit hard to mark so just use a different camera view and you can just hide it and you can just uh, keep on checking your answer with the correct answer and you know it is easy if you just put a bit 
of your time into it so yeah <clears throat> i hope you guys understood everything till now now uh, in this particular task there are some problems that i had to face the first time i did them and i don't want you guys to face that first of all uh, there is a uh, just let me just show everything back turn everything back and now if i go back into the correct answer you will see that uh, there is a box right here there is a box and uh, if i press on auto and click here you will see that uh, there is a box here but it is not visible let me just go into other views to see if it is visible from any other camera view mm, forward so i think not it is not visible from any other camera uh no there is no bonding box for it and this last one there is no bonding box for it okay but it is still there in the correct answer so how do you create a bonding box or a 3d box around the object which is not present in the 3d annotated scene so for that you will we will use plus here and and we can add our own boxes okay so we are uh, adding a temporary obstacle and temporary uh, i guess it's a barrier or temporary road sign okay so te it's a temporary road sign as we can see in the correct answer it is a temporary road sign so i'm just add, going to add a temporary road sign here and then i will select this and now i will just i'm fed up of all the trains sorry <laughs> sorry guys if you face any problem due to the noise just ignore that so we, you can just align it okay uh, there are uh, some points here so you will have to be careful while marking the truck okay and uh, also also yeah i just remembered there is a baby stroller in here let me just uh, go back into my answer and uh, check for it like uh, there is a huh, yeah there is a baby carriage which is supposed to be here 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 this woman or this lady as you can see is having a baby stroller and it is marked but in the correct answer it is not present okay as it in the correct answer it is not present like there is no baby carrier here okay so uh, what we will do is we will just click either this or either this it doesn't matter and we'll click this object is already labeled in 3d okay and then we will just uh, uh carry on with our marking by this of this lady okay so we'll just mark it like her mark it like so and then align with the difference or the correct answer okay so it is the same process now for everything the same process like you can just uh, mark everything or paint everything according to the correct answer by checking your difference okay uh and that's it and uh, make sure when you submit in the task it's all green and there should there should be no missing points there should be no errors no errors like there are so many errors here because they are there are points like these which i have wrongly marked uh, so you if you put your time and effort into it and then you will be easily uh, fixing these errors and there should be no problem just make sure that before you submit all the proper all the boxes are properly placed and there should be no poorly placed box okay and uh, there should be no errors and it should it should all be labeled okay and then just uh, let me just come back to my answer then when it is all okay and there is no difference in your answer and the correct answer just click uh, just go down here and click on i have scanned all the points okay and uh, 
when it's all okay then you can just close this window and submit okay and i'm not going to submit because this is not correctly marked so yeah this is the basic task that you have to do and i hope you guys really understood what's the process and how you do it and if it helped you then <laughs> then just like the video i will or just comment or if you have any doubts you can just comment and i will be happy to help you okay so just go let's just go back to the correct answer and see if anything else is important to tell i guess not everything is easy um, the same process is for everything uh let me just go back here yeah so so just a friendly reminder friendly reminder is that uh, you don't have to mark the traffic signals and you can just click uh, just click on this and then click on this then go back then go back to the list and one by one uh, just do this okay oh, uh, that in the at the last at the last so that there are no more uh, there are no more objects here but they are they will all go here when any object is marked it will go to the label tab and not and it will not show up in the not label tab okay so that is common knowledge and uh, that's it i guess it's uh, the video is 41 minutes long so sorry for that but i guess that's all to, there is to the task and yeah uh, just paint this out let me just paint this out and uh, by clicking here then pressing w then pressing shift and then i can just remove this there should be no noise here okay so the correct answer shows that uh, it should all be purple so let me just make this purple by going here and then painting it out as purple so you get now get it now all the obstacles are to be marked purple like the the pole like the edge of the curb as you can see that the edge of the curb is also marked as a obstacle because uh, it can't be you know it, it is not a plain road it is a curb edge so it, this is basically the footpath okay so as you can see the points are aligned to the edge and this is not as it is not a plane and an obstacle so it has to be purple marked like purple colored okay so yeah all the buildings are purple colored all all the particles in this space are noise and have to be colored blue all the color or the all the cars are different green or yellow colored all the skate boards like this is a skateboard or a scooter or a cycle are to be marked as yellow and uh, all the colors are green and all the people are light blue so that's it and i will be stopping the tutorial video now and i hope this helps okay so that's it from my side bye bye